The ARM architecture was invented inside Acorn Computers, which was a British company. And this, there was a team of engineers that did that, and they got the first working ARM chip, and that was used for the Acorn Archimedes computer. VLSI Technology, semiconductor company, built those chips for Acorn. They were based in Silicon Valley. VLSI had an arrangement with Acorn that if they got other people interested in this ARM technology, they could sell it to them. VLSI Technology got Apple interested in this technology. And Larry Tesla, who's now a good friend of mine, who was the chief scientist of Apple at the time, he wanted to use this ARM technology for uh, the Newton project. And he, but he said to VLSI Technology, I cannot build, I cannot buy a chip that's owned by a competitor, because they were competitors. And VLSI said, they are thinking of spinning it out. And Apple, the venture side of Apple, said, well, we're prepared to put some money into a spin-out, but before we're prepared to put the money on the table, you've got to find the CEO. So I got a headhunting phone call from Hydric and Struggles about, got this idea of a spin-out, come and have a meeting, come and have a chat. I happened to know the Acorn people. I knew a Herman Hauser, who, who was at that time a non-exec of Acorn, but he'd been, he was the guy who started, funded the original ARM project. So I go along for a meeting, first of all with the headhunter, but then with Acorn and Apple, Larry Tesla and some other people. And the question was, thinking of spinning this out, do you think it can work? Uh, what do you think we should do? And I said, well, this is back in 1990, I said, silicon is like steel, it's a commodity. The last thing we should do is build chips. I actually said we should build chips over my dead body. Mike Muller, who is still today's CTO, said, now there's an opportunity. I'm still alive. Uh, Arm doesn't majorly build chips. So the interview was about the business model, designing, licensing, and how could that work. And because I had a background from semiconductors, because I'd been through the previous startup I'd been involved in, ES2, it hadn't worked out, I'd got some experience. So, and by the time I was offered the job and I accepted the job, we'd worked out what we wanted to 